Just imagine there is an exhibit, a chance to see the artwork of one of the most enduring cultural icons of our time. Well, no need to imagine. Give Peace a Chance, The Art of John Lennon opens tomorrow at CV Art and Frame in Zionsville. And joining us here on Daybreak, we have Barbara Jennings here to tell us all about it. Hello. Barbara, this is fantastic. Thank you for stopping by and giving us a true honor of seeing one of the pieces for the very first time. We'll get to that in a moment. But first, let's talk about the exhibit and how this came to be. Well, it's a wonderful honor to be able to host the exhibit. Uh, we've been established for over 40 years, so a lot of times important exhibits, they reach out to us. And so we said, sure, um, the art of John Lennon, what a, what a great opportunity to share with Indianapolis and, and the folks who, who love John and who will travel for hours just to come and see his artwork. Oh, absolutely. And Barbara, this exhibit, again, like we said, this is a world premiere. So go into the process of how the gallery received the honor of having this happen. So it was timing more than anything for the world premiere. We were hosting the event and um, coupled with the anniversary of the, Sar the Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band and the release of Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, they have chosen Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds to be the first piece in a new portfolio of planned 15 pieces. So oh, it's wow. a very, very special first release and they haven't released anything for about 15 years so this is this is very special that is amazing we're going to get a picture of that portrait right now or one of them we have a, a one of them here in studio that's beautiful just take a look at this we were talking about that beforehand this has never been seen by the public before that's correct that's correct and this was inspired by his son his son julian when he was three years old came home from nursery school just with a, l a little drawing and John asked him hey what's that bud and and Julian said it's Lucy in the sky with diamonds oh that is beautiful what do you think uh, of course this gathers so much fascination but again what do you think it is about just the fascination with the art do you think the music helps with that or just him as an artist and his artistry just what is that secret sauce that keeps people wanting more you know John was first an artist he, tell, he will tell you that um, art was my first love. Uh, I made money with music and the guitar, but art was always first. And so he continued to do art, and art was like his diary. So you'll see his art, and that's what you'll see at the exhibit. You'll walk through it, and you'll see his life, his activism, his what was happening to him, whether he was struggling with something or happy with something. You'll see his family life. A great collection in the exhibit is for Sean, his son that he was Mr. Mom for. He was, oh. he was the caregiver. Yes. And so you'll see all these, like a, a, a cat purring. Sean would say, John would say, what would you like to, what should we draw? Mm -hmm. And Sean would say a cat purring. So John would draw a cat purring. And so there's a wonderful collection of children pieces, as well as his other kind of life, everyday diary type pieces. Now, Barbara, I have to put you on the spot before we go okay. here. What is your favorite? I know you've had a sneak peek ahead of the world of what some of these pieces look like. Wow, that is putting me on the spot. Um, I might say one that I was moved by a lot was uh, John is posing as the Statue of Liberty, Power to the People. And that's, um, it's a, an important piece because he was struggling with being basically evicted from the country. Oh. And he was very worried about not being able to stay in the United States and he fought, went through legal battles and he was finally able to get his papers to stay. And he said, he said that we, we the people have the power just through our justice system. Well, thank you for sharing your favorite. We can't wait to dig into and delve into all of the other ones. Let's take a look at the info so that you at home can know how you can take part of this monumental event. Again, it's Give Peace a Chance exhibit. It is taking place at the CV Art and Frame Gallery. It's opening tomorrow from 4 to 8, and it runs until July 6th, so you got plenty of time. No need to rush out there. And the best part, no tickets required. So no excuses on not to see such iconic work. Barbara, thank you so much for sharing this with us. It's a it's pleasure been, to have you on. 